everybody and welcome back to my channel so yesterday was saturday today is monday i had a long day at work so in today's video we're going to be doing a tidy up with me get the dishes put away clean up the couch for some reason my couch is always a dumping ground for everything and anything especially all the baby's toys she throws everything on the couch everything that's supposed to be upstairs she brings down so stick along today, we're gonna tidy up and straighten up the house with me. First, I have to put this laundry in the dryer. It never ends. Wash the load, dry it, fold it, do it all over again. This load, I have all towels, so it makes it easier to throw it all in the machine. Don't worry, it'll stay in the dryer a few minutes if I don't fold it right away. So, wash all my towels together, being that it's a heavy load. Get your kids silverware, plastic, cheap, can't go wrong. Bought two big bags from Ikea, which was like two dollars or less. So they get lost, they break, no problem, throw them out. But the best silverware. Now I got 
gotta wash the baby's bottles. She still drinks her milk from the bottles. We've tried putting the milk in toddler cups, sippy cups, straw cups, but she's not into that. She refuses to drink milk from any other cup from a bottle. But I stopped doing that. The more, more importantly, the main thing, I got her finally to stop nursing. She's two years old and it was a long trial and error, but that was my main thing, that she would stop nursing. Now that she stopped nursing, all she wants is the bottle and replacement. So right now, we're gonna work on the bottle as well as work on potty training soon. So that's my goal before the winter is to have her broken of the bottles and fully potty trained. So I'm gonna wash and sterilize her bottles right now because she loves them to death. My toddler only loves fruit snack from Welchers and goldfish. If you guys have small kids, leave in the comment below what your kids' favorite snacks are, especially if you have a picky eater, because I'm interested to know. So ever since having three kids, my oldest is nine, his birthday just passed. When they were small and on bottles, I've never bought one of those sanitizers. I always thought it was a waste of money. They're big, bulky. They would have a funny smell, get mildewy. So honestly, to sterilize the bottles, I've always done it the old fashioned way. A long time ago, I used to boil them, but then that was a nuisance. The pot would get hot. Sometimes the nipples, the rubber, it would touch and it would melt. So I just got a safety proof, heat proof, basic mixing bowl, put all my clean bottles and bottle part accessories. I bought one of these. It's a kettle, hot water electric kettle. Have my bowl, my bottles, and I just take the boiling hot water, cover all my bottles, and then I just leave it sit for about a half hour to steam it, to sterilize it. And that's it. So I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Has anybody been pumpkin picking or apple yeah. picking? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I'm gonna get rid of them. Say la vie. Until next time. Oh, I just pricked my finger on a rose thorn. That really hurt. Ouch. Okay, the water's all mucky. I'm gonna get rid of it. And I'm going to actually soak it. Pick it up. <laughs> Good girl. You're learning chores. Should we add your name to the chore chart? Good job. Okay, what do we do? Push it in. Yeah. Push it in. Good job. Woo! Can you push this in? Mm -hmm. You want to throw it in? Mm -hmm. Good job. Now what goes next? Sure. Soap. Put our soap in. Put our tie. Oh, you okay? Oh, sure. You want to close it? Sure. Yes. Sure. Okay, you can help. It's so short. Help me too. Close the door. Can you close the door? Okay. Close it. Watch your fingers. Sweet. Good job. Wait, wait. Where's this one? Where's this one? Yay! I did it! Good job. Up there. You can't stand. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold on, let me see. Good girl. Good girl. Go watch TV. Go, go, go. 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 So you guys, my front door, I have a little command center of a big dry erase calendar. I have my husband's work calendar and I have the kids' little charts. They had a house point chart that I made as well as rules and things to do in the morning for school. So we are in October. I have not filled out my calendar. I feel like it's really important every month besides keeping notes and calendars in your phone to have a visual view of what's going on for the month especially with the kids chores the kids schedules finances bills that need to be paid i find it really important for me and my husband and our family to have a visual calendar so the whole family could see so i'm just going to fill it in really fast
So you guys, my birthday is coming up, which is this weekend, which falls out on Sunday, October 11th. It's my birthday. So we'll see what we're gonna do. how cute the baby's little pocketbook I believe we got it from Carter's has a rainbow zipper how adorable Has your kids watched the movie Pets? The Life of Pet Pets? There's one and two have all the figurines. She loves these, plays with them all the time. Guys, I don't know if you can see her, that little nook over there we made the playroom. She's sitting in her baby doll, little quiz and twin bed. She sees me, be careful. This toy was mine from when I was younger. It's a baby monkey, it's a puppet. Stick your hand in the butt. And it's oh, sweet. As well as you could move its hand. Do any of you have any old toys from your childhood that you kept that was important to you? Leave a comment below. Cute little puppet, squeaks, claps, hand up the butt. Uh, traded our car in and had to dump all our stuff yeah. into a bag and I haven't gone yeah. through it for months. I don't know where you guys live, but before COVID, where we live in New York, right before they were banning all the use of plastic bags. So I actually bought a bunch of these blue bags from Ikea. Extra big, huge for groceries. Just the medium size, I've large. So I was all ready to go plastic bag and reusable, and to the reusable bag, but now with COVID, some stores are still using the use of plastic bags because they don't want their employees to touch uh, the reusable bags. So I'm all ready. Are you guys all ready when it, whenever that happens? Do any of your kids have a special hiding spot in your house where they like to play in corners, on shelves, hide their toys? My daughter's favorite spot is on the TV rack where it's level. She sits on the floor and puts all her Barbies and her little princess figurine and plays.
now her new obsession. She loves Barbies. And she's watched a couple episodes of the Barbie series on Netflix. Okay. Let's put these back. No. You gotta clean up with the Barbies. No. Yes. Hi guys, thanks for hanging out with me today while I tidied up and did some chores around the house. I hope you enjoyed. So don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.